Top 5 player in the 2023 recruiting class, defensive lineman Labeus LT Overton has officially reclassified into the class of 2022 and dropped a top 5 including Oregon, Georgia, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Ohio State. In the coming months, he is going to be visiting all those schools on official visits and he will be making a decision where he will continue playing ball at. In today's video, I am going to be talking about Labeus LT Overton, his recruitment, this move moving from the class of 23 to 2022, and talking about all the schools in his top five and why he might go to them. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, as we are on the road to 10K. Now let's get into it. Labeus Overton and his move from the class of 23 to the class of 2022, his ranking has changed. As he's entering the rankings very late for the class of 2022, but he's still seen as a top talent. According to 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he is still a 5-star recruit, the number 18 player in the nation, and the number 5 defensive lineman, and he sits in at about 6'5 and 265 pounds. Labeus Overton in his whole recruitment process has been seen as a top player in the nation and a highly regarded one at that. It doesn't matter what class he's in or not, he is still seen as a top player in the nation, and that's clear with how he was a top 5 player in 2020 and he's still a top 20 player in the class of 2022. He currently holds 27 offers, and a lot of his offers are from some of the top of the top schools. I mean, his top five is some of the top schools in the nation right now in Georgia, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Oregon, and Texas A&M. Some of the schools that didn't make his top five include Alabama, Clemson, Florida, LSU, Michigan, Notre Dame, Texas, and USC, just to name a few. Lavius Overton has been a dominant player his entire career in high school. The guy was even playing some high school football in the 8th grade. Yes, the 8th grade. And his career stats from his high school football career include 286 total tackles, 199 of them being solo. 114 and a half tackles for loss and 54 sacks in his career. His most dominant season by a statistical standpoint in his high school football career, you might be thinking, is it going to be his junior year this past 2021 season? But in fact, that is not correct. As in 2019, as a freshman playing on the varsity level, he had a monster season where he had a total of 105 tackles, 86 being solo, 42 being tackled for loss, and 19 total sacks. I know this is said a lot about five stars and top players in the nation, about being a once-in-a-generation talent, but Lebeus Overton is legit a once-in-a-generation talent. The guy is a straight animal. The guy is a beast on the field, and he does not have many flaws in his game. Now that I've touched a little bit on Lebeus Overton's ranking in his class, and his high school football career, let's talk about his top five. The first team I am going to be talking about in his top five is the team that is seen as the current favorite. The crystal balls are in their favor, and they're having a great recruiting time right now as they hold the number one class in the class of 2022, and that 2022 recruiting class is the number one class of all time. That school is Texas A&M. Now, Texas A&M has a lot of momentum on the recruiting trail right now, as it seems like they're landing every top player, they're getting every five-star, and this 2022 recruiting class for them is something nobody has ever seen before, and to be straight up, it's just insane. And if they got a player like Lebeus Overton to top it off, this class could be a class that we could see be the one that might get Texas A&M to the playoffs and possibly even a national championship game. He does have some connections to Texas A&M as his dad, Milton Overton, was an associate athletic director at Texas A&M before leaving to be the athletic director at Kennesaw State. He will be making an official visit soon with his brother at Texas A&M and we could possibly be seeing him as an Aggie. On to the next school, we have Oklahoma. Now this one is kind of interesting, as his dad actually played at Oklahoma, and he played with 
a coach currently at Oklahoma by the name of Kale Gundy, who has been there forever. And early on in Overton's recruiting process, it seemed like Oklahoma was in the lead, but it was way too early to say that he was for sure going to be going to Oklahoma. Now with this new defensive staff and just the new coaching staff in general at OU, it seems like this is going to be a lot higher of a chance with Brett Venables of him going to Oklahoma than it would be with Lincoln Riley. Why is this? Overton has been wanting to actually get a Clemson offer because he likes Venables and he likes Todd Bates. And where are they now? Oklahoma. He has an Oklahoma offer, and of course he has Oklahoma ties with his family because of his dad. And they visited Oklahoma a number of times on their own for unofficial visits, and he will be taking an official visit soon at Oklahoma as well. And this one could be very big for the Sooners. Not saying they're going to pull it off as they have a lot of tough competition, but it seems like if you've been keeping up with the recruiting trail in Oklahoma with Brent Venables and his staff, their recruiting visits have been straight up home runs. They've been landing some serious talents because of their recruiting visits. With the Georgia Bulldogs, Georgia is in a great spot with Lebeus Overton. I wouldn't say they lead, but they're not extremely behind Texas A&M, and they could end up very well landing him and having a great case in the Lebeus Overton sweepstakes. They are coming off a good national title win, their first one in a while, and they've put out some great talent in the NFL from the defensive lineman position, and they've had some great products and successes on the collegiate level as well. Another thing that you can't ignore about Georgia is that Lebeus Overton plays in Georgia. He lives in Georgia, and he's not that far away from the University of Georgia. Next up with Ohio State. Ohio State is in a good position with Lebeus, but they're not necessarily, I would say, in the top three of his top five as of right now. Of course, he's going to make another visit at Ohio State, this time as an official, but Ohio State does have an uphill battle as they're not really as high up as some of the other teams on this list of the top five, but they do have some say with some of the production and talent they have produced in recent years from the defensive line position. On to the last team in his top five that we haven't talked about yet, we have Oregon. Now Oregon, I would say they do have an uphill battle with Lebeus Overton, and they're seen as a surprise team in his top five, but if you think about it, it shouldn't be that shocking as Dan Lanning, the new head coach for Oregon, was involved in LaBeus Overton's recruitment. Just because Oregon isn't seen as a top of the top team in the top five for Overton right now, it doesn't mean they do not have a say in this. Just like I said earlier, he's visiting all five of these schools on official visits, and of course, Oregon's going to have a say when he's going to be visiting them. Just like it is in many people's recruitments, it's not over until it's over, and this one is going to be far from over until he finally makes a decision. Of course, Texas A&M has the momentum right now, but that doesn't mean a team can't swoop in and take the momentum away just because of one visit. Another interesting turn in the recruitment of LaBeas Overton is with his older brother, Micaiah from Liberty, who has officially entered the transfer portal and has every intention to team with his little brother. It is reported that he's going to be joining LaBeas on his official visits to Oregon, Texas A&M, and Oklahoma. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. Where do you think LaBeas Overton will go? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be Ellie, out.